Congratulations on getting your brand new P6. Now, if you're part of the first month pre-orders, you'll be getting this 14 amp, 3300 watt fast charger included in the box. And if you purchased after the pre-order period and did not get the free gifts, you'll be getting this five amp stock charger. Now, some people say this five amp stock charger looks very large for five amps, but that's because chargers are based on wattage and the wattage of this charger is around 1200 watts. So it's quite a quick charger. Um, now, the size of the fast charger is a bit smaller. I'll put them side by side. You can see the size difference here. So it's a nice smaller footprint and the overall weights are very, very similar. Now that the charger's out of the way, let's go and see how it works with the wheel. So before you plug in your charger, this is a variable charger. However, the variability is a little bit different. You can adjust the charge speed and percentage in the mobile, InMotion mobile app. So when you go to the settings into the InMotion app, you have a bunch of different settings available to you. However, if you scroll down, you'll see here charging cutoff battery percentage and max charging current. So here we have the 3300 watt charger, but our wall socket can only accept just around 2000 watts. So what we're gonna do is set the max charging current to five amps. And this ensures that we don't over exceed the capacity of the wall and the circuitry behind this building. Now, once that is set, we're gonna plug this charger in. And then if we look here up on the screen, you'll see a battery icon. So this just shows you that the wheel has accepted the charge and is starting to charge. You can also hear it because the fast charger is starting to ramp up. Now, if we go back to our InMotion app, you can see the vehicle details under battery information. You'll see that the charge current is currently 2.2 amps per battery, which is four and a half amps, which is just shy of the five amps that we put as our setting. So this is how you adjust the fast charger. So guys, that is how easy it is to adjust the variable charger on the mobile app before you go and plug in your device, just to make sure again that you don't over exceed the power limits of your wall sockets. If there's any questions, feel free to reach out and I'll see you in the next one.